Hi guys, good morning. Forgive my morning hair, sorry. I woke up not too long ago and I just got done watching the newest and very entertaining episode of Star Trek Prodigy. And I will be discussing it now in today's video where I'll be doing my episode review. So if you're not caught up on Star Trek Prodigy by this episode or perhaps a previous episode from last week, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. First and foremost, uh, super awesome to see a Ferengi in animated form. I loved that uh, uh, character reveal that we got there because I thought, boy, this hooded figurine, the ridges on the nose look very, very familiar. And then when Dal instantly recognized and knew who or at least what it was and started saying her name, it was like, oh, it's a Ferengi. And I guess Dal knows her and she raised him apparently, which is crazy to me. So well, I'd love to hear that story, how Ferengi ends up uh, taking in an orphan alien baby and then raising him, raising him on the rules of acquisition too, which was funny to get referenced from time to time throughout this episode. Um, wasn't it too surprised at her little betrayal at the end there? Uh, very typical of Ferengi, unfortunately, just very greedy, uh, selfish, um, angry little people who are just all about profit. So it isn't to say they're not without their... Uh, without their likable qualities, too. The, this franchise has had quite a few excellent redeeming Ferengi moments throughout the show's history. Not this show in particular, just throughout the franchise of Star Trek, I mean. And you know what? It may not be too late uh, for Nani or Nandi, whatever her name was, but, um, you know, she's still alive and uh, she seems to have made a promise that they'll see her again, so that's good. Um, cause she was an entertaining character and she was a good, uh, uh, temporary bad guy. You know, I also liked how this episode, uh, reminded our characters as well as our viewers of one of like the biggest goals of the Federation, which is honoring and respecting and following the prime directive and how first contact in this situation, yes, didn't go the way it should have, but now they've learned from their mistakes and uh, they quickly rectified them too by getting the crystal back from the Ferengi and returning all the other crystals to those um, lovely uh, harmon harmonizing creatures or whatever they were. So that was pretty cool. Um, beautiful visuals throughout this whole episode. Just, I love the desert planet and then the bioluminescent beings who are doing the harmonizing through the crystals. Very cool stuff. Just visually breathtaking episode. And, um, you know, once again, at the end there, the characters learn their lesson the hard way, unfortunately, but sometimes the good way to learn a lesson is the hard way. And, um, you know, it's brought uh, both uh, Gwen and Dal closer together now. And, uh, you know, she brought up a good point about now you know who your uh, real friends are. And, uh, you know, Janeway wasn't too happy, obviously, and she is just the hologram version of her. But I feel like that would be the very real sentiments and attitude of the real Janeway had she been there. We also got some more insight. It looks like uh, the nasty looking uh, uh, General Grievous type droid character, Dreadnought, I think his name is, or Dreadnought, is the one who uh, originally crashed the party according to that uh, security footage with uh, Chakotay and the hologram Janeway when she zoomed in. So it's like, oh, okay. So somehow this guy got wind of the USS Protostar and uh, Makes you wonder what uh, what else is going on there. But entertaining episode. Love seeing a classic Star Trek alien make its appearance in this episode. In this instance, it was the Ferengi. And hopefully we'll see her again. And um, I really liked it, as I hope you guys did too. So what did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on this. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. Check back later today for two more uh, reviews I'm going to be doing. I'm going to binge the first Three episodes of the new show Peacemaker on HBO Max, which dropped today. I'll be uploading my reviews to that. And then later tonight, I'll be doing my film review for Scream, the horror sequel that comes out starting tonight. And I'm very excited for that. That's why I've got my Ghostface shirt on. So looking forward to that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And of course, until next time, live long and prosper.